can I get uh, the rest of the avocado on my toast? on my toast? Yeah. What is up guys in today's video i'm here at bullard's bar look how low the lake is this is the dam that actually creates bullard's bar bullard's bar is another man-made reservoir lake in california and uh, the water line normally is about here and see how far the lake has dropped maybe 40 feet so a lot of the shoreline that i've never seen before is exposed and i've actually never fished here i've always come here just for recreation you know water skiing wakeboarding and uh, houseboating that kind of stuff but it's also a world-class uh, kokanee fishery and that's what we're targeting today super light tackle stuff kokanee are basically juvenile sockeye salmon and so today i'm on the newport vessels 10.6 newport model and uh i think you know the deal i got the trout stuff i was using they're actually kokanee rods basically scaled down salmon rods and uh, hopefully we can hook up on a nice stringer of kokanee here we go All right, now that we're set up on the water, quick little talk about what we have in our setup. Again, we have our kokanee rods kind of set up just like salmon um, trolling. And I, I, what I think is about 65 feet, unfortunately, my depth finder and my fish finder is not working. So I'm just going by rotations of my manual downrigger. Every rotation at the top is about a foot. I've counted 55 uh, turns, gets me uh, right in the strike zone, at least what was happening yesterday. And I'm hoping that I can find it manually because it's not working electronically. So what am I spinning? I've got hoochies, I've got Brad's cut plugs, I've got a couple little spoons, you know, the usual stuff for these kokanee. I am a total rookie. I think we lucked into one yesterday trying to see if I can duplicate not only the luck, but you know, legitimately find the bite. So I've got this rod uh, way deep at about 65, 70 feet, about, I don't know, 40 yards behind me. And uh, about 20 feet above that, I put another downrigger clip and clip this rod in. And I'm using two of the same thing, a two inch pink hoochie tipped with shoe peg corn. And uh, that's eight inches behind a Seps Flasher Dodger. We caught our only kokanee of the day yesterday on that exact setup. So I'm gonna, you know, duplicate that um that's what i know works so hopefully it works today and uh, i'm just waiting for a bite i can see my tips kind of bobbing up and down just ever so slightly because um it's doing its thing if it's trailing in the water you can see it going back and forth and it's pumping the rod even in the clip here's hoping man if i can catch one awesome i am uh you know experiencing some, some quality air today don't need my mask and i can i can actually see across the lake which is just awesome it is a saturday so there's going to be some um uh, traffic here and uh, hopefully it doesn't disrupt the bite. Wish me luck guys, gonna need it. Oh, I got one, yes. Yeah, baby, got one. Put two and two together, even with the manual find. I got my very own kokanee, and this one I'm not going to give credit to. My little nephew, I'm gonna give credit to myself. Look at this gorgeous little fish right here. Oh man, they really are like baby little salmon. I've never had so much fun targeting such a little fish. So relieved to finally get one of these guys that I can call my own, that I can say I caught. Just like that. Try to clip their bottom jaw, not their gill plate, because Try to keep oxygen flowing and keep them alive as long as possible. And uh, hopefully he stays fresh until I'm ready to gill him. But I gotta get my line back in. Gotta do it all over again. Man, lots of fish over here. I think I'm marking some cool stuff. Let's see if I can get another one. Oh, I fixed my fish finder by the way. Don't ask. 
Maybe go put butter, it on the griddle. Butter. Keeping it simple. What's that little guy in there? on both sides for like what 10 minutes each side or so say in that range yeah. it. all right Let's open her up turn the heat off a couple minutes ago let it cook on the residual heat we're gonna bring it inside and see how it turned out good timing all right guys you guys ready to see Jacob's a little fishy Nice. What happened to the eye? Nice. What happened to the eyeball? What happened to the eyeball? Mm -hmm. Got cooked. Mm. Give you a fork. Let you do the honors of taking the first taste test of your kokanee. So let's see how the skin breaks. Yeah, just maybe uh here, maybe uh part, get a meaty part, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think I think that's the fin. It's steamed over. Just have some barbecue steamed fish. All right, maybe a little bone. Be careful; it might be hot. Probably gonna be a little hot. Did you scale it? Uh, no. Mm. Good. Get it hot? No, it's not hot. If you blow it. Blow it. Blow it. I want to try some. Oh yeah, that looks. It's good. It's good? Yeah, everyone says that kokanee is supposed to be one of the better tasting fish. Yeah, I want Wow, look at this piece. All right, let me try this piece. I'm going to try kokanee for the first time. Am I in frame? Yep. Kokanee for the first time. Wow, look how steamy that is. Good thing they're not straight. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh yeah, it's like six today. <laughs> All full. I like, them, but I don't. Well, I'm, uh, I'm thirsty. It's okay. I'm thirsty. Out. I'm dead. I had big eyeballs today. Yeah, big eyeballs. Yeah, big eyeball kind of day. Well, that pretty much concludes our day, our weekend at Bullard's Bar. Pretty eventful. I mean, you know, the fishing wasn't awesome, but it was awesome to catch the targeted species. Again, it was the fish that we were targeting. And so I was happy to get Jacob on a fish. I was able to get my own kokanee. And uh, man, you know, can't say that the fishing was bad. The fishing was awesome. Fishing is awesome, um, even when you're not catching. So yeah, you know, spent some time in the water, spent some time with the fam, got to taste some new stuff and uh, super stoked to be out here. So if you guys uh, want to head out here, this is Bullard's Bar. It's normally not this low. Again, the water line's up there. They've got party boats that you can rent. That's the other fam over there. And uh, no launch, no inspection. Just put your boat in and catch some fish. So, all right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.